Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is part 5 on nanomaterial and application solution on question 2022. Today, I want to discuss question number 7 and 8. You can see this is the question paper question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 already covered in the last first part. Today, I want to discuss question number 7 and 8. Let's start. First question says give quadratic description of single electron transfer device. Single electron transfer device means the electron, single electron passes at which control the conductivity. These are made actually using quantum dot. There is a gate, drain and source uh, with a quantum dot. And you know in the quantum dot the band gap are separated and a single electron transfer through this quantum dot by the tunneling effect. Okay. So this is smaller than 10 nanometer when the size of quantum dot is less than 10 nanometer it become a uh, tunneling effect which tunneling effect gives you the uh, current of this okay. So this is the uh, operating principle is the Coulomb blockade in the last section we will discuss our Coulomb blockade when the current cannot flow yeah, is uh, even a single electron a single electron cannot also flow. So this is the Coulomb blockade and this will be overcome using this single electron transfer device. So you can control the current using this device. There are some application that is super sensitive electrometer. Just a single electron can transfer then it's sensitive. So this is super sensitive electrometer can be obtained. Single electron spectroscopy obtained. DC current standard, temperature standard, voltage stress logic change, charge sensor. These are really obtained from these devices. Next question, how can photoluminance is used in characteristics nanometer and briefly mention the technique to record the response. Photoluminance means when the photon, that light fall on the material, uh, then the electron are uh, jump from valence band to conduction band in the other way, electrons jump in the higher energy level. Then it's uh, released from its higher energy state to lower energy state and radiates some energy is known as the photoluminance. This photoluminance gives is the information of this material of the so so it's characterized the material using the photoluminescent phenomena. So photoluminescent is nothing but when you incident a photon in the light in this material its electronic state will be changed and it radiates. So this radiation information gives you the information of this material. So which are written in this uh, paragraph, two paragraph, you just note down this paragraph, you can easily write down the answer of this question. Next question, uh, write down short note on the photolithography and nanofabrication. That's mean for nanomaterial production, you need to know about the photolithography that is uh, what is the process for photolithography you need to clean the wafer first at the first you need to clean the wafer then use a photo resist on this wafer you need to uh, photo resist on this wafer then uh, put into the oven to make it harder and use then marks you uh, incident you will light then it will be exposed here and by keyching process its uh, material is so finally remove this photoresist will be obtained this nanostructure there are two types of photoresist positive photoresist and negative photoresist here the example is positive photoresist that means this photoresist uh, exposed by this uh, material by uv light but in negative photoresist it does it become harder and this other side will be removed so etching process will be obtained Next is the advantage of this uh, photoresist material that is uh, photolithography. This is versatile method. It should be used for mass production. For a large production, we can use the photoresist uh, PL method. Uh, for IC circuit, you not need to know that is a large number of IC can be obtained from this uh, uh, lithography and it used for printing electronic base, etc. There are uh, some disadvantage also. It will be expensive. And you need to uh, take a clean room with a dim light which produce a, actually dim light because light are uh, prevent the UV light etc. So these are the photoluminescent. Next is CNT carbon nanotube based transistor. CNT based transistor refer to field effect transistor. A single carbon nanotube analysis of carbon nanotube which uses a transistor or transfer here using a single 
and uh, cnt so cnt gives you the ballistic transport ballistic transport, huge speed of this electron so this is this mean a signal can transfer very easily very fast and high device current and large transconduction are obtained and high temperature relevance and strong covalent band are available as it is one dimension so carrier pro propagate only forward and backward and there is no back scattering allowed so it is lower resistivity so cnt's have high chemical stability and roundness okay so that's it for today we will be discuss in the next year question in the next video this is all about me this is my contact details this is my youtube channel details so take care we we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you